Hi sir, good evening. Yeah, good evening. May you know your good name? Sai Chindu. Yeah, can I go with Chindu? Yes sir. Okay, so Chindu, can I have a resume? Yes sir. Yeah, uh, quickly introduce yourself Chindu. Yes sir, my name is Sai Chindu. I am from Hyderabad which is famous for Charminar. Okay. As I am a fresher, I have completed B.Tech in the stream of CSE in the year 2023 in Shreyas College and I have done my schooling and intermediate in Hyderabad. Coming to my technical skills, I am skilled with Python, SQL and HTML okay. and I am passionate about to become software engineer and in my free time I go with playing cricket and listening to the music okay. and I belong to nuclear family including me and that's all about me. Thank you for the great opportunity sir. Yeah, uh, so that's a great introduction. So you are good with the Python sir. Okay. So in Python we have a functions, right? Yes sir. So what is predefined function and what is user defined function? So predefined functions are nothing but which are inbuilt functions. Okay. There are 16 type of inbuilt methods in Python sir, okay. such as print, length, count. Okay. Whereas user defined functions are nothing but which uh, which are made by the Python people for the user requirements. Sir. Okay. So uh, have you aware about the data types in Python? Yes sir. Data types. Okay. So what is dictionaries in Python? So dictionary is an ordered set of key and value pairs. Okay. The key passed in value must be item. Okay. And the key is also known as item, sir. Okay. Dictionary is mutable, which can be modified. Okay. And in dictionary we access keys use values using their keys. Okay. And dictionary is enclosed between square square brackets or curly braces. Sir. Okay. So is dictionary allow the duplicates? No, sir. Keys can values cannot be updated. No, no. So values we can duplicate, keys will not keys can be will not duplicate. Okay, fine. What is the duplicate meaning of duplicate? Nothing but null or null values. Same values. Same values. No. Same values. Same okay. Values. So have you ever about the statements? Like uh, condition statement, jumping statement, yes, duplicate so. statements. So then what is jumping statements? So jumping statements are which will control the flow of a program. Okay. There are three types of jumping statements, sir. Okay. Continue, break, return. Okay. Continue will break will exit the loop permanently. Okay. Whereas continue will skip the present iteration and it moves to the mm. next iteration. Okay. And return is placeholder, sir, which will return a value to caller. Sir. Okay, fine. So you have aware about the OOPS concept? Yes, sir. Okay, so in OOPS we have abstraction. Yes, sir. So and we have abstract class as well. Yes, sir. So can you explain what is abstraction and what is abstract class? So abstraction is which will hiding the internal function and showing only functionality sir. Okay. For example if we take a phone call, we doesn't know any internal processing but we make a phone call. It's an example of abstraction sir. Okay. So you, what is abstract class? Abstract class. It is a blueprint of other classes sir. Okay. A class which uh, with uh, one or more abstract methods is known as abstract class. Okay. So can we create a direct method to abstract class? We can create. No, uh, we but can create with the child class. We can child class. Okay, so why? Because abstractive contain a method declaration. Yes, okay, so fine. And so inside the oops, we have a encapsulation also. Yes, sir. So what is encapsulation? So encapsulation is wrapping up whole data into a single unit, sir. Okay. For example, if you take a capsule, the outer layer <coughs> is covered with wrapper, sir, and the medicine is present inside. So it is an example, sir. Encapsulation. Okay, so fine. So to uh, the definition is so combining the code and data into single single unit. Okay, fine. So good. And so then uh, to create objects, we are using constructors. Yes, sir. So in Python, what is the like uh, need or purpose of the particular constructor? Constructor is a special method in Python, sir, which is used to initialize objects. Okay. A constructor is called when an object of class is created. Okay. Constructor should be represented in public mode only. Okay. And the constructor should start with double underscore and the name of the constructor should be in it, sir. Same to the class. Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, if you are not created a constructor, okay, what will happen? Uh, it will show a No, no. Default it will create a constructor. Okay. okay. And there are two types of constructors, sir. Default and parameter Param constructor. Yeah, fine. So what is the difference between append and uh, like we have uh, extend methods? Yes, sir. So what is the difference? Sir, append will add an list to, to it will add an it will add to end of the list, sir. Whereas append <coughs> will extend the it will add an item to the end of the list, sir. Okay, where we are using exactly? Extend and append. append both. 
so with the entry data or data type with data okay so with the data we are using okay uh, fine and what is interpreter so interpreter which convert source code to machine code no no so it convert byte code to machine code converts byte code to machine code in single steps sir. what is compiler which converts source code to byte code fine yeah up to byte code it will come okay so what is source code source code nothing all data in which program we are written that code is known as source code okay uh, so okay so what is like uh, we have uh, to escape some lines of code we are using some comments okay so in python how many comments are there there are two types of comments okay what are they single line comment and multi line comment okay single line comment is represented with hash symbol sir. okay multi line is represented with single quote double quotes sir. single quote and double quotes yeah uh, fine okay so finally i need to ask one question so uh, can you explain looping statements in python yes sir there are two types of looping statements while loop and for loop when we don't know the number of iterations in loop we use while loop sir when we know the number of iterations in loop we use for loops okay so what is the definition of looping statement it will repeatedly execute a block of code so when our condition is we need to repeat a certain code repeatedly uh, until the condition satisfaction so that statements are known as looping, looping statements. yeah uh, okay so i think i done with my side uh, chendu you have any queries to ask no sir you can leave. thank you sir yeah